Hello, it's six o'clock on Saturday the 3rd of December. Yes, this is your Birmingham News Weekend magazine. I'll be here with you at this time every week to take a look at what's going on around our area of Birmingham, Solihull, the Black Country and beyond. Welcome back to the programme with me, Lee Bannister. Now, Des will be joining me shortly for a look ahead to some of the highlights of what's on in our area during the coming week and a bit of a preview to where he's going to be this week. But first, it's time for a good old look at the silver screen. Fresh from his movie slot in the lowdown, here's our very own movie mogul, it's Carl Jones. Hi, time for us to take a little look at what's hot and maybe what's not in the world of cinema. Actually, there's quite a lot that's hot uh, this week. In fact, it's a really busy time for new releases. Before we talk about some of those, though, I want to just catch up with the latest escapades of Birmingham filmmaker Steve Green, who's been to the Festival of Fantastic Film. And he caught up with a, a cult director who hasn't been making too many movies recently. In fact, most of the ones he's best known for were 25 or 30 years ago. But he revealed to Steve that he's about to get behind the camera all over again. Hi Carl, I'm here in Manchester at the 27th International Festival of Fantastic Films. Although best known for the series of gory horror and science fiction movies he made during the 1970s and 80s, Norman J. Warren made his directorial debut with the gritty 1967 drama Her Private Hell. Next year we'll see Norman's return to the mainstream with his first feature-length movie in 30 years. Norman, you're actually working on a new film at the moment. Can uh, you tell us about... Well, obviously, you can't tell I, us about I, the actual project, I apparently. can't tell you very much about it at all, but I can tell you it's a lot different to her private girl, which was a long, long time ago in the distance. Um, I mean, yeah. as mentioned, the technology has moved on a huge amount. It has, but the basic thing about filmmaking never really changes. I mean, the cameras change, and as you say, the switch from film to digital is the most uh, biggest leap, really, in recent years. But... You're still making a film in exactly the same way. I mean, the most important thing about a film is the scripts and the actors. You know, that's a, you, but, it's a man, man than what you shoot it on is almost not that important. Uh, if you haven't like, got the sc yeah, story but right. But like Her Private Hell, you're also uh, actually going to a mainstream topic this time, I understand. Um, well, mainstream is so much... Well, I'm not sure... Yeah, mainstream, you say that, I mean... It's, it's not a horror or science fiction genre film. Oh, no, 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 it, film, it's so. not a horror film and it's not a sexploitation film like Her Private Hell. I would term it as a sort of mystery thriller. It's quite hard to categorise, actually. Um, it has a big Chinese influence in it, in the terms that we have the story regard, runs around two young girl students, Chinese girl students in England, and how they go to a house t to work for a collector. It's a very eccentric collector. And I'm not going to tell you any more, yeah. but it's, that's where the sort of mystery so it's, starts. It's, so it's, so it's, it's contemporary... It's about society today, it's about um, the very events contemporary, that can happen today. And because of the, the Chinese connection, which is very contemporary, because you know we're, we're getting more and more involved with China in many ways, mm. and, uh, and certainly in London, where I'm based, uh, there are an enormous amount of Chinese students. I mean, I'm actually working with a Chinese young lady on the film. We're doing it as a production together. And... Uh, she did just a quick little research before we started and found out there was 50,000 Chinese students in the, in the, in the country. It's, uh, it's quite amazing, yes. It's, uh, so this so, will be coming out sometime next year? Hopefully, yes. We're at the moment at the end stage of pre-production, uh, which hopefully will be completed within you know, probably January, something like that. So hope, you know, early sometime next year. It's difficult to say because you, you probably know finalising distribution is not easy anymore. Independent films now oh. sadly have a quite a tough time. Well, we'll look, forward to, we'll look forward to seeing it when he comes out. Thank you very much. Thanks Please very see. much. Thank you. Thanks very much to Steve and to Chrissy there behind the camera for, uh, for that one. We'll see more from Steve soon. And so it's time to close the pages of the Birmingham News Weekend magazine for Saturday. I'll be here at the same time tomorrow, and then you can catch more news for Birmingham, the Black Country and Solihull every day of the week. I'll have your lunchtime edition on Monday to Friday at one o'clock, and then Mike Prince will be here at six and nine in the evening with the latest for Birmingham, Solihull and the Black Country. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you back here at the same time tomorrow. Try a bit.